Hey everyone, in this FIFA 23 Stadium Explained video, I'm going to be showing you that area of Ultimate Team. So when you're inside Ultimate Team, if you use the right button, oh, that would be R1 on the PlayStation, just to go over to this area, the club area, and then jump into Stadium, you'll find this area where you can do all sorts of interesting stuff. The first thing you can do is jump into club, and here you can change things like your club badge, your home kit, your away kit, your ball, uh, player celebration, and some other stuff that is initially locked. And I'm going to talk about how to unlock all of these things as well. But if you jump into any of these, for example, the first one, here any kits that you own you'll be able to change to so I could have for example the England home kit as my kit here uh, or change it to this one now if you want to know how to buy kits have a little look at my other videos I'll show you how to do that anyway we'll jump out of club and jump into the more interesting area which is structure so structure um, is where you can use the stadium template and all of these different things to customize the look of your home ground as you play the game in ultimate team so if we jump into the first one there are a few different templates that you can actually use so you've got the foot champion stadium the challenger stadium and the foot stadium when you start out in ultimate team you may only have this one and the other ones will unlock over time or you can also buy stadiums such as the anfield one that i purchased here i have a quick look at this i want you to have a little look at this message that says this will only be used in certain matches i.e your home games and also you can't customize it like you can with the other ones so you may want to do that or you may not, but if you play with here, you'll be able to play at Anfield, but all of the customized stuff won't show. So if you come out to here and look at the stadium theme, for example, you can see that's not Anfield that we're adjusting there. That's the Foot Challenger Stadium. Anfield does not have that big, big thing flying over the top of it. It doesn't curve around like that. Anyway, let's go back and change it from Anfield to another one. I'll show you how to buy stadiums as well in a different um, part of this video. Um, so let's go with the Champions Stadium. So this is the biggest one back out here and then we've got the stadium theme so you can buy themes and i'll show you where you buy all of this in a little bit and these sort of put all these banners over everything here and there's all sorts of different ones that you can buy and it's sort of like the main decoration and if you want to use any of these you simply press a or that would be x on the playstation to do that uh, we come out back out of there you can also change the stadium color um, so you will need to buy some of these colors such as these here so we go with the violet for example uh, and then the seat color again you need to buy these uh, so if we go with that one you can see I've made some big changes here again there are some areas here like the VIP area that I currently don't have uh, available um, so that's not an option here if we come out of here you've then got the stands and you can drill into these and have things like TIFOs um, back end area home right area and again these will unlock as you go through um, and for example this main stand here we can jump in and change these here so you can see we can do quite a lot of customization in the stadium area by um, going all through these different areas so you get the idea that you can do all of those pitch you can also change things like the goal net color whether there's pyrotechnics that fire out when you actually score a goal um, so you can see i've got a couple of different ones here um, and when i go through them that's what's going to happen when there's a goal um, you can also change things like line color and pitch mode pattern if you unlock those with objectives which again this is the next thing we're going to cover and also trophies as well you can unlock these different areas as you unlock trophies um sorry trophy areas uh using objectives so let's talk about that let's jump out to that and show you where that is so if we go over to play and then back to home uh, have a little look at objectives here when you go into these uh what you should find is a variety of different things that you can go through uh, I'm just trying to remember which area they're in. Uh, I think it's uh, not there. Is it milestones? Yeah, there you go. Stadium items three. So you can see this one here. If I do these objectives, um, I'll get some TIFO items. Um, but stadium development, these are the ones I'm on at the minute. So to unlock the top stand slot, I need to do 16 matches to unlock that. 18 matches to unlock that and those will basically unlock as I do those um, if you look at the ones that I've completed I'm not sure whether they still show let's just have a little look yeah there they, they go uh, so these will then unlock as we go through to the other ones as well um, but you get the idea with those that's how you unlock the extra things just do the challenges in, in each one so if we want to buy stuff for your stadium, you can do that in the transfers area. So if we come back out to club view and left button or L1 over to the home view and then go and see transfers, transfer market is where you will find all of the stuff that you can buy. So if on the item type here, we could pick stadium or gold sound or base color or whatever. Uh, let's go with stadium, set the quality to gold and then search. Bizarrely with stadium, you can't narrow down to a particular stadium. You have to search here manually, but you can see all of these ones that we've got available. So we could go with this one or this one. Um, I'll just buy one for example so let's go with this one actions buy now yep continue searching so I could buy multiple ones 
or deal with them later. So I'll just right trigger confirm those. Let's look at some of the other things we could go for. So we could get kits, we could get base colors, animated TFOs, all sorts of stuff. Other things that can be quite interesting to buy on the transfer market for your stadium include authentic stuff for official clubs. So for example, if we have a little look at um, the stadium theme, content type, we could change to authentic and then league, Premier League, club, pick a club, whatever club you want. So for example, let's go with Liverpool, uh, do a search and you can find the stadium theme. I actually own this one already, so I'm just showing you can buy it here, but you can do that with any club, so that's quite cool. Um, also things like TIFOs, so if you want a TIFO of your favorite club, again, we could go authentic, again, put this favorite club, and again, I've already got this one for Liverpool, but let's go with it. Uh, that again, just to show you, do the search. Um, so I'm hitting Y to search their triangle on the PlayStation. Again, there's the TIFO, so you can have that in the background. Um, if we jump back out to the stadium itself, I will just show you then how you can then add those to the um, stadium area. So stadium, jump into here, um, and then it was under structure, uh, stadium theme. You can see I've got set to Liverpool, um, but you've also got this area here in the stands. Um, so if we look at the away end here, uh, there's the Liverpool TIFO that we had, and uh, should be able to do it on the other side as well. Um, so we could look for this as well, uh, put that as Liverpool. Uh, so the TIFO can be used in multiple areas. Uh, I don't know whether we've got anything here that's any good, uh, but you can put flags and all sorts. So you get the idea with it. Hopefully that's useful to you about how, to, how Stadium is working in um, side FIFA 20. Three. If it was, give us a thumbs up, please. That's much appreciated. Any comments, welcome. I'll put some tutorials at the end of this video that hopefully, hopefully help you with other parts of FIFA 23 as well. If it does, um, do let me know. And if you like what you see, hit that subscribe because I'm always adding new content for FIFA 23 and many other games on my channel. Thanks so much.